Today is my last day here in Las Vegas, which is nuts. Today I'm gonna be spending most of my time packing. <laughs> I mentioned it in the last vlog that I was gonna actually start the packing process in the last vlog and it didn't happen because I put everything off to the last minute. I leave tomorrow and I haven't started packing. We should really get started with that. I will say though, I did pick up the house a little bit. All, everything has been vacuumed, which is lovely. There's tons of clothes there that are all folded and ready to go. I'm gonna be packing some of these things. This has turned into my travel table. <laughs> so there's like, my backpacks are there. Everything I definitely need to bring is like ending up on that table, which is great. I cleaned off the bar. All of this stuff has to like go upstairs. It's just like random stuff that I found down here. And I cleaned up, I feel like I'm losing my voice, which is really not a good thing to happen before I go on a trip. I've also been talking a lot lately, so I feel like maybe that's what's going on. I cleaned up the bars and everything. I also went to Trader Joe's and I got some cookies and they're pretty good. Waiting for my copy to be done this morning. And then what I actually desperately need to do is run through my house really quick and find any kind of trash and put it in a bag and throw it away because today's actually trash day. It's the last time I'm gonna be able to throw things away yeah, I'm really hoping the trash guy comes kind of late today, but we'll see. <laughs> Quick check-in. Um, so I have officially started the packing process. It's taken me a little bit, but I'm definitely starting. I'm working on my liquids right now. Listerine, toothpaste, shampoo, sunscreen, dry shampoo, mineral oil, face cream, and uh, contact fluid is what I have in there right now. I also have like makeup and stuff in this bag. I'm not bringing too much makeup. I'm just bringing a tiny bit in case I need it. Foundation, which should honestly go in here, but I'm gonna see if that really matters. Sponge to put it on. Eyebrow spoolie thing. Dip brow, mascara, chapstick, tweezers, and uh, eyeliner. What I'm more curious about is how packing all of my electronics is gonna go. Because I am planning on vlogging when I'm abroad, and when you plan to vlog, there's a lot of things you gotta bring with you to make sure that uh, you have enough batteries, SD cards, cameras, everything to do with any kind of like um, portable chargers, portable external hard drives, a lot of electronics. So this is my big electronics pile. Lots of things are charging right now. This is the battery that I got from Target. I wanted to make sure it was all charged up before I take it on the plane. Vlogging camera batteries, nicer camera batteries, a nicer camera. Um, recharging some AA batteries for my microphone. But this isn't even including like the drone stuff, which is big on its own. I have four extra batteries and it's just, I don't know, that's, that's mainly what I'm most worried about, just making sure that all fits, because it has to fit in these bags. So this is a backpack. Actually, here, I'll just put it on for you really quick. This one I got because it is carry-on compliant. So yeah, all my stuff is gonna fit in this bag pretty much. I did also get um, a day pack to go with it, and thankfully the day pack is big enough that I can hold my laptop and stuff. So I'm gonna probably put a lot of electronics in the day pack. I don't know. I'm winging it. I think I got all of my clothing all figured out for what I'm bringing on my trip. So I laid it all out here and I thought I'd show you guys. I started from the bottom. I think there's six or seven pairs of socks, 10 pairs of underwear, two bikinis, one regular bra, and two of these like nice thin Calvin Klein bras on the end. One workout outfit, so top, shorts, sports bra, a really nice big scarf. I always find that scarves come in handy when you're traveling. Black t-shirt, gray t-shirt, black tank top, nice shirt, a nice dress, a light pair of jammies, so jammy shorts, and a nice thin sleeping shirt, a pair of jean shorts, one pair of jeans, a pair of lounge pants, a pair of thermal pajamas, and a pair of long johns, so top, bottom, top bottom. When I'm traveling through the UK, there's gonna be some points where we're gonna be camping. <laughs> so I brought, I'm bringing the thermal stuff to keep me nice and warm in the middle of the night. This isn't including, I'm thinking I need some kind of jacket. It would probably be good to bring like a rain jacket and also like a thermal like warm jacket. These are all the outfits I'm gonna be wearing over the next couple weeks, guys. If, I, if you see only this clothing, that's why, because it all has to fit in that bag. And thank goodness, I was so worried because I ordered some stuff on Amazon like two days ago um, and I needed the stuff to get here today because I'm leaving tomorrow. I was so nervous because I didn't think it was gonna get here in time. It says it was supposed to 
to be delivered today, but it wasn't out for delivery until right this second. So thankfully I should be getting this today. I'm getting like a kind of a wallet thing to put my passport in, a couple like credit cards and stuff, and also my boarding passes and tickets and stuff, which is super handy to have. And also a converter for plugs and stuff. We had one before, but I have no idea where it's at, so uh, yeah, I got another one of those. I started Game of Thrones from the very beginning while I'm packing all of my stuff. So that's what I'm doing this afternoon. I ended up um, going on Amazon Prime Now, which is like Amazon, except they deliver within a couple hours from your order, which is really great. I love living in a city that has it available because I needed packing cubes. Um, so packing cubes, for those of you who don't know, they're these. This is the only one I have right now. And they're fantastic for squeezing a ton of like clothing and stuff in them and packing it really nice and tight before you put it in your packing bag. It's great for keeping things organized. It's great for making things really tight and compact so you can fit a lot more stuff in a bag. But yeah, that's the only one I have right now and that's not gonna work. <laughs> I'm actually gonna make myself some lunch. It's just past noon and yesterday I made, oh my God, they're so good. Barbecue black bean and sweet potato burgers. I actually modified the recipe from Minimalist Baker. Um, her recipes are always fantastic, but this one is legit. But I also added a lot more stuff to it. I added like hemp seeds to it. Um, tofu for a little bit of added protein. And what I've actually been doing is I take like two of them and I actually throw them in a salad and it's so, so good. Look at that lunch, yes please. Oh yeah. All right, so we got like two large ones and two mediums. Perfect because the mediums are about twice as big as the small ones. So I got all different sizes. Now we're gonna deal with this. Oh, I'm carrying too many things. Going to make one last trip to the P.O. Box before I head out of town. Let's see if there's anything there. <gasps> Ooh. We got a letter from Robin in California. Ooh, that's so cool. I don't know if she wants me to show her picture on camera, but it's a graduation announcement, class of 2018 with a bachelor in science in nutrition and dietetics. That's so cool. Congratulations. That's gotta feel so freaking good. Been watching your videos since November, 2016. The Girlfriend's Guide video series helped me get through what to expect when my ex would would be going through and you offered an ear when I found out what he did. And I looked back and realized I was about to drop everything just to be with him. I wouldn't have been able to get my two bachelor's degrees in dietetics and food science. I wouldn't have had the courage to study abroad in Barbados, but watching your videos on solo traveling provided me with the information and confidence to know I could travel by myself. I now wanna travel even more. That's what happens. You open up Pandora's box when you start traveling, I'm telling you people. I now wanna travel even more and improve on myself in other ways. So thank you for putting out your vlogs as much as you do and I look forward to what the future holds for you guys, Robin. Robin, thank you so much. This is so amazing. Huge congratulations on everything that you've accomplished. This is massive and you should feel so freaking proud. Oh my goodness. What a nightmare packing this stuff was. It is quite a bit later in the evening. I'm sure you can tell just based off of the lighting, but this was a, a tight fit uh, getting everything in here. This is my main pack. As you can see, it's extremely stuffed. This is gonna go in the overhead compartments and then that's gonna go under my seat on the plane. That's for carrying like most of my stuff around. And then there's stuff in here that is stuff that I kind of want to get to a little bit faster, a little bit easier, and that's like the entire point. <laughs> Over here is my outfit that I'm gonna wear tomorrow. I have a necklace that I'm gonna wear. I have um, just a bralette that I'm gonna wear. I have my big, nice scarf. I love having scarves on planes because they're kind of multi-purpose. You can use it if you're feeling extra cold, but you can also use it to block out light. So I use it as kind of like an eye mask or a pillow sometimes too. So I always love to travel with a nice big scarf. Underwear, and I'm wearing leggings tomorrow, a t-shirt, 
Oop. and um, a big cardigan. This is another thing I love to have on a plane for basically the same reasons as a scarf. It's multi-purpose, it keeps you warm, um, and it's just cozy, I love it. And I'm gonna wear tennis shoes tomorrow. I wasn't originally going to, but the Birkenstocks were way easier to pack than the tennis shoes, so I'm wearing the tennis shoes tomorrow. <laughs> Alrighty, since we are pretty much all done and ready to go, I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Okay. Just about ready to go. Um, I packed up a couple last minute things in my bags and the house is all nice and clean, pretty much. Um, yeah, let's do this. Cute, yeah. <laughs> got here so early that they weren't even open to take my ticket yet. Like ticketing wasn't even open yet, so oops. <laughs> but they're gonna open in a couple minutes, thankfully. So I'm at the lounge right now. I'm getting a little bit of editing done and I have all my stuff here, which is great. They ended up needing to check my big bag, which was kind of annoying. So apparently the carry-on, it could only weigh up to eight kilograms, which is I don't know, it seems kind of light to me, like that's about 17 pounds. That's okay, I think it'll be a blessing in disguise so that way I don't actually have to deal with it, which is great. So now I only have my little bag and a mimosa. It's a good morning. I actually think that I'm going to end the vlog here because uh, it's gonna be a long travel day, mostly spent on a plane and kind of unexciting, so. But the next vlog is going to be, I think, everything that I hope it will be. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Bye!